Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are watching my videos for the first time, I live in Indiana and this past Tuesday we had a very bad snowstorm. Well, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, this is how it looked at night. It snowed all through the night and the morning and mostly all Wednesday. But this was Wednesday morning and waking up and looking outside, you couldn't even see where my driveway started and where the sidewalk was at, nor where the street was at. So it was that bad. Um, my neighbor was nice enough to come do my driveway because I have no idea how to use our snow blower. It is so huge and heavy and I have no idea how to use it. So she came and she did my driveway. She is truly the best. Every time I need her for anything at whatever time of the day it is, she's always there and I'm so blessed to have her as my neighbor. Snow blowers are so expensive, but at times like this, they are the best investment ever and they come in handy so much. I would have hated not having one of these. If you guys are wanting to buy a snow blower, I highly recommend you guys going in the summer. <laughs> I know it sounds weird buying a snowblower in the summer, but trust me, you'll save a lot more money buying it in the summer than right before winter. We saved a lot of money by doing that. We did get a lot of crazy looks because come on, who buys a snowblower in the summer? But like I said, we did save a lot of money on it. So if you guys are planning to buy a snowblower, again, I recommend you guys going in the summer. For some odd reason, I don't know if it's because he's a Great Dane, I have no idea, but he loves being outside in the cold. If he could be outside all day in the cold, he'll be the happiest dog ever. Are you cold? He was just outside for like 10 minutes and he is so cold. Look at him, he's all wrapped. And you want to go back outside? No, you're not going back outside. It's too cold. It's too cold, buddy. I'm sorry. In my last video, I told you guys that I was going to show you a before and after of my kitchen. And here it is. This is how it looked when they took all the cabinet doors off to degrease them and repaint them. It looked a hot mess in my kitchen. All over my house because they were painting my living room and kitchen and they redid all my trimming and it was just a hot mess in my house but this is how it looked before and this is how it turned out and i love it i love how it looks now it makes the kitchen look so much brighter and i love it we also changed the hardware like the knobs we changed the knobs and i don't know what the hinges or i don't know what you call that but we changed those as well because the old ones look disgusting but yeah this is how it looks now the reason why we had to redo our trimming was because most of it looked like this we have a great dane and when he was a puppy he went around the entire house and chewed up most of our trim so we had to redo everything and this is how it turned out Like I said, we did the trimming in this hallway and we also repainted all the doors in the entire house and all the closet doors in the entire house as well. The next project we want to start is our railing. I want to turn that railing into a half wall, something similar to this. We also repainted our entryway and our door as well. So this is how we looked before. And this is how we looked after. These next couple of clips, 
Um, it took place a couple weeks ago. My dad bought this, I think, storage bin. I don't know what it's called to put his tools in. And um, he needed a space to build it since he didn't have space in his garage. He came over to my house and we built it together. Moments like these I will cherish forever. I love building stuff with my dad, even though I get yelled at half the time because I'm doing something wrong or I'm not doing it his way, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I will cherish these moments forever just because I love doing things like this with my dad. And since I moved out, it's been about five, four years that I've moved out already. Um, I love it when he asks me for help and I will drop anything for him to be able to help him out. The funny thing about this is that we had to put it apart not once, but twice. We were doing something wrong. I have no idea what we did wrong, but we had to take it down and rebuild it again. But at the end, it turned out pretty cool. It was really sturdy. It comes with the key and he'll be putting this in his garage so he could store his tools in there or whatever he has in the garage. But it came out pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Before I end this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for those who have subscribed and been watching all my videos. I am very thankful for every single one of you guys. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.